Sorry for the curse word. Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and we are at week four. I shouldn't say that we're at week four. We're actually at the start of week five because week four is done and in the books. I cannot uh, begin to emphasize how much um, I feel like I've really accomplished something because it's been a long time since I've been consistently trying to eat better and be healthier. Um, yeah, for like four weeks straight. I mean, it, it's it's. I've been thinking like all the other times I've ever tried to do some kind of reset, usually my goal is four weeks, like a, a 30 day reset or 28 days sort of thing, and then kind of like reevaluate things after that. It's interesting what happens to my mind just in terms of like the psychology of it all when I know that I still have, how many weeks? Nine, no, eight weeks to go. I'm not a math person. But I've got 12 weeks total, right? And so this is not even halfway. So uh, I want to just kind of talk just briefly. This is going to be kind of brief, um, as it always is. I kind of made the mistake of posting on Fridays because I work on Fridays. So I have to wake up earlier in order to work out, get dressed, take a shower, get ready for work, and then make a quick little update video for you guys. So I apologize uh, if this one's a little shorter than the others. Um, so looking back again, I've been logging everything in my very messy, you know, food journal, but still I'm writing everything down. I'm writing down the carbs and I'm also writing down the calories because I'm trying to get a sense of, am I hitting a calorie deficit? Not that that matters with keto, but it does matter in terms of, you know, if you are eating more fat than you should be and you so you're actually eating more calories than you're burning, then that's one reason why a lot of people end up not losing um, weight on keto based on what I've researched and based on my own personal experience. So again, everyone has a different journey that they're on and I really appreciate the people who have been commenting, um, especially Alexandra. I appreciated her comment that she left on my last video because it's important that we share our experiences while also acknowledging that other people are on different journeys and have different experiences with the same kinds of diets. Um, and I just, I love that about this community is that there's no one saying, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. That's not, that's not healthy. That's not good. Everybody has a different body. Everybody can go see their doctor. Everybody can kind of assess for themselves what particular lifestyle is uh, right for them. So for me, keto, I think is, is the lifestyle. Okay, so as promised, um, I wanna be honest and transparent about my personal experience with this diet, um, with this lifestyle. I'm gonna call it a lifestyle. Um, I, the, I posted my last video on Friday and that was a weigh-in video. As you guys know, I've decided to only weigh in uh, once every three weeks. So um, basically there'll be four weigh-ins on this YouTube channel. And so today is not a weigh-in day, but I did take my measurements. So I will share those measurements with you um, at the end of the video. But um, what ended up happening on Friday, around 3 p.m., I started to get a migraine and it was the full on migraine where you have the aura in the beginning. If people are familiar with migraines, you know what I'm talking about. So I knew that something was wrong. Um, I still went to work and I still interacted with students and I still was very much on, but uh, around 2 p.m. or like 3 p.m. I just left and I went right, right home and the migraine lasted until Sunday. I don't know if the migraine is related to keto. I should say that um, ever since, yeah, the last couple of years I've been experiencing migraines and they will probably happen maybe once every two months. And this is the first time it's happened while doing keto. So I am gonna go see a doctor about that because I think I might be eligible for some kind of migraine medication. So I don't think that that was related to keto. Uh, but it was awful and pretty, you know, terrible. And um, I still managed to do some light workouts like every day. And um, then I also, you know, been using the Peloton. I wanted to show you guys um, 
I wanted to show you guys what, what I've been doing, like what I have accomplished in terms of that Peloton bike and how many calories I've burned the last 28 days or 30 days. Um, check this out. So as you can see, I mean, I've burned like 8,000 calories. And what I love about that app is it tells you like how many active days you've had, how hard you've pushed yourself. And I just felt really, you know, like tremendously full of pride when I saw that. And no matter what the measurements say, no matter what my weight is, like I, I stuck to this plan for the last 28 days and you know, I, I did it. So I'm super, super stoked about that. Um, I, you know, stayed under 30 carbs every single day this week. So that's good. I experimented with trying to make my own, um, uh, unwitch. I don't know if people know Jimmy John's, but they make the most delicious, most expensive sandwich without the bread. And it's just so perfectly made. It never falls apart. And every time I try to do it at home, it doesn't taste the same and it always falls apart. And so I looked up on TikTok, it's called a meat bouquet that someone invented. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. I might make a little like food video for people, but you basically put a, a head of romaine lettuce in a, a mug so that it can like, it's stable. And then you fill out, you put all the things that you want in it. And then what I did is I wrapped it in foil so it like stayed really tight and then you eat it and it's not messy and it's delicious. So I am proud of myself for doing that. And that was delicious. I had that a couple of days. Um, yeah, so let's get to the numbers. So, uh, my measurements for, uh, today when I woke up and measured myself, my waist, I'm only measuring my waist and my hips. Should have measured my legs because of all the biking that I'm doing, but that's okay. I can tell that the legs are getting way more toned and toned and that is, you know, that that's great. My, uh, waist is now 35.8 and my hips are 45.8. Now to remind everybody where I started four weeks ago, my waist was 37 and my hips were 47. Now that might sound kind of dramatic because I think that's like over, over like an inch and a half. Um, and I, I just want to, I want to say that I don't think that that is going to be the, the rate moving forward. So I think I just, I started off really, you know, at my heaviest and I was very bloated when I weighed in that first day and I measured myself. So it kind of makes sense to me that now my numbers are, you know, uh, they are drastically like different, but I don't expect to, you know, keep losing inches every, every three weeks. So, um, I, I'm, you know, I'm proud of myself, but I don't want it to be unrealistic. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you all for joining me on this journey and I will see you next week uh, for another measurement check-in and the next weigh-in video will be April 15th, so that Friday. I hope that you all are also, you know, staying strong in your own journeys and uh, I'd love to hear how it's going and if you have a YouTube channel that I don't know about, please comment below and I will subscribe to you because um, I, you guys are so encouraging and I, I love watching all your videos, so. Talk to you later.